Try to stay up on the latest technologies uh, when it comes to electronics, computers, whatever. But last night I was watching a video, and uh, I guess they were in New York City. And I see this robot going down the sidewalk and past these people. And I didn't even give it the time of day. I'm like, what the hell is that? I got no idea what it is. So I get to look and I have to go run to my computer. You know, it 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 stays on over here until I go to bed. Uh, so I Google robots running around streets of the cities, New York City. I guess they have them things delivering food and packages or whatever. I didn't know nothing about it. You know, when you live rural like I do, uh, and shut yourself out from that part of life. Well, you don't know half the things. Ain't no telling. I'd hate to see if I showed up in New York City today. Uh, I'd look like the from, I was from the Beverly Hillbillies, man. I'd probably stop and talk to it. Well, do they talk to you? I don't know. Robots delivering food. How many times have things broke break down? Because I know which newspaper was I working at. Fort Worth Star Telegram. We had robots, and then, I mean, this is back ninety late nineties. I think I was there. I wasn't there long because they don't pay nothing in Texas. Uh, but we had robots that would bring the rolls of newsprint pretty basic robots they were all on a track but they had electronics and they broke down all the time you nothing more frustrating when you're running the press and you call for a roll of paper push the button well it's supposed to go get it automatically and bring it to you but every time it would get 10 feet for me and break down Jump the track, whatever them robots do. I don't even. There wasn't even a track. It was a kind of like a a sig, uh, wire or something that was embedded in the concrete, and it would follow that trail. And then when it when it was done, you'd send it home, and then it would go wait until somebody else called in to order a newspaper. Uh, most of the papers, like Denver Post, had a track system. It would go all the way around. It was called the real room, but it would go all the way around. And when you ordered, oh man, it's been, oh, they just had rolls of paper loaded and they'd just go round and round. And then when the, you know, the rolls started getting low, they, the paper handlers would add more to the cards. That was much more simple, much more simple, but. I got to, you know, what would we, there's so much technology out there right now. I don't even have a clue what a lot of it is. Uh, mostly the only city I go to is Fort Smith, Arkansas, which as far as cities go, that is one cool city. I think it's just small enough. I think 50, 60,000 people, but it's got all the stuff you need, the big box stores and, and hospitals and, Whatever you need to do, they usually have it. And if not, you got Fayetteville about three hours north of here. I, uh, that's that's getting into too much for me into Fayetteville because if anybody knows, that is one area in the country that has boomed. You got Fayetteville. You got uh, well, I can't even Bentonville, uh, Rogers, the Springdale. It's just one big city up there. They they just got hit by a pretty bad tornado in Rogers in Springdale I th or Bentonville I think. But what if the if the switch turned off tomorrow? We had no more electricity. Oh, boy, I'll tell you what we're we're going to be in a lot of trouble. <laughs> this ain't a s hits the fan video, but just think about it. How we rely so hard on on electricity uh, a lot of people would be in some big trouble and i'm sure people would just sit in their houses for days waiting for it to come back on and at what point would people realize hey man it ain't coming back on 
Because last night, Starlink went down here for about an hour. And that, that has not happened. It happens during storms. But there was, it was crystal clear out last night. And, and when it did finally get back on, I got on Google. And they have that site you can go to. What's down? I don't know. It's as the down meter, but thousands of people reported Starlink going down. So I don't know what happened there, but everything I have here runs off my Wi-Fi, my phone, my TV. So when something goes down like that, I got no news source, none because our local radio, there's only two stations I, I listen to and they're syndicated. It's, it's robots. I mean, it's all pre-recorded. The DJs, none of that's real. And no news ever comes on there. Unless there's bad weather, then you get the emergency broadcast system breaking in. But other than that, living out here, there's no no news source. And, and for the town that's local, you don't never... You got Facebook. And that's only if they decide to post. Usually, the newspaper, it's really not even a newspaper now. Um, they mostly post online, but all they ever report is sports, high school sports. It's like every other little town in America, uh, for the newspapers I've worked at, that's all they care about is high school sports. Well, I don't have any kids in high school. I could care less about that. I want to hear who's, you know, we had a murder here, uh, three, four months ago. They said they captured the guy. Everybody's saying he's the wrong guy, and that was the last you heard of it. They, they just scrubbed that. You have not heard anything about it. He could be running around for who knows what, but you just don't get any news. They they do what they want. Maybe no news is good news, but uh, you know, if a guy shot somebody and he's running around, and they got some patsy and the you know arrested. Well, I, I think we should all know about that. Uh, but we're so dependent now on technology. Everything is run. I had a situation come because I was on this computer all day yesterday trying to learn this software, and, and I got to where I was trying to save files, and my computer disk space was so low on it. I mean, I've got external hard drives, but downloads and everything it was just it was full i could not save anything else so i deleted all the cookies whatever so now every time i go to a, a website i gotta re-sign in they gotta send a code i gotta get the code type in the code i gotta make sure it's me now, that's one thing about the internet i hate nowadays you gotta type in so many different things and get a code on your phone but your phone is also controlled by Google, at least mine is. So the phone quit working. I had to restart it, couldn't make any calls, couldn't get any texts. So when I finally did get it back in working, I kept getting text after text after text <laughs> because Google, I can't explain. I don't even know what happened, man. Things changed so much, I can't keep up with them. Uh, this happened last week with my phone where I, and I have no way to know that it ain't working. But it's something to do with Google. Google controls everything now. Ugh, it's frustrating, but it's cool at the same time. I, I lost my phone several months ago, and I got on the uh, Internet, and there was a thing where you could call your phone, and it was in my truck, wedged in between the seat. But now i seen Google send a message Find your device. Now, I don't know if I really want them have. I mean, they already know where you're at. If you've got a cell phone, your your location is always known. I don't think there's anything on them you can turn off to hide your location. They know where you're at. Everybody knows where you're at. And if you do a search on your own name, you can do a Google search uh, in your web browser. You'd be surprised what comes up just for free. You know, it's got your address, your phone number, everything on it. And if you want to get rid of that, well, guess what? You got to pay for a service that does that. And it's endless. It never ends. But 
you know, I couldn't do this without the internet the way it is. <laughs> and I better shut up. I get a paycheck from Google. Yeah, YouTube. What do you think owns YouTube? Google. You drink coffee. What's it sound like on this mic drinking coffee? <laughs> No, I don't really do that, but I will now. All right. So this morning I got up at four this morning. So I started watching videos on this software here. Oh, it's too early to overload the brain, but I pretty much got it down. Now I, it's just got all kinds of neat things. We'll be getting into that a little later. Ease into it. Uh, my channel's small enough that it ain't nothing has to be perfect, and it never will be. I, I assure you that. Y'all like that, don't you? Today, I have got to get something productive done. I got to build that bike rack because uh, I want to go out. I want to go out riding, man. It's gonna be pretty simple. Shouldn't take me long. I gotta get that done. The weather's beautiful this week. It's the man, what is it now? 58. Look at that, man. That thing's dusty. 58 degrees outside. This is almost June. It should be 75 out there right now. And I'll take it. And it's foggy. So I and I predicted it's gonna be a mild summer, and I think it will be. Uh, hey, if the hundreds don't come until August, I'm good with that. That's fine with me because I don't do hot weather good. I don't even mind hot weather. It's when it gets real humid. That's where it's, where it's miserable. Uh, the air conditioner's working constantly trying to get the humidity out of the air. Usually does a pretty good job, but uh, then I'm running the one in the dog apartment. They got to have air conditioner. Yeah. They they pretty much stay in there all the time. <laughs> Lily likes to go out, but Waldo, he sleeps all day. He's old. He don't care. So I try to go in there many, many, many times a day and spend. And I like having that bench I put in there because now I can go in there and sit real comfortable. And they can get up and, and get their pet in, bring them treats, whatever they need. Yep, she's behind me. Miss Rooster. We're going to have to set up a Miss Rooster cam. I can I can put multiple cameras on this software. So we can put one on her. Maybe interview Rooster. You guys could ask questions. I don't know. Some of you probably wonder. Oh, he lives by himself. He probably gets lonely. Probably doesn't ever hear himself speak. I talk more than probably a family of four. When you got five dogs, you're talking all day. I, that that girl there, she'll talk your ear off. So I'm always talking. You know, I don't I don't get lonely with with my dogs. Now, if they were all gone, yeah, well, they wouldn't. I would get more because I'm so used to living with dogs, and you know, they don't never back talk. Well, yeah, they do back talk. You Waldo does, Rooster does. Well, I'm sitting here eating eggs and bacon. She'll sit there and bark at me the whole time. So I got to plan my breakfast or my meals when she's outside. Or I get no peace, man. No peace at all. But I wouldn't have it any other way. You know, if, if only they could pay a little rent now and then, that would help. But, you know, they're, they're squatters. Where do you think the term squatters come from? How do you think they go to the bathroom? They squat. They don't stand up. They squat. Squatters. They're the OGs of squatters. All right, guys. Well, I'm hoping uh, you're liking the new setup here. I like it. It's a lot easier. And with this, I don't have to use SD cards anymore. Before, I'd have to put an SD card in the camera, transfer that to my editing software, which I'm still using to put the intro in. That's it. But I can do that on this. I just I haven't had time to mess with that. Then I won't have to edit at all. That'll be nice. And then I can just upload it straight to YouTube. So 
get them up a little quicker. I don't have to spend money on SD cards for this, but I will for, you know, recording videos for the other channel and if I put any on here. So, hoping you're liking it. If it's the first time you've seen it, let me know if you like the sound, the, the look. And thanks for watching. Happy trails.